This is Severe MMA. It's a few hours after UFC London fight night, Bisping versus Silva. And we're alongside dangerous Davy Grant as he makes his long awaited debut in the octagon. And a three round war, Davy. But yeah. I, I gotta be honest, looking at the smile on your face now, are you glad that it was a three round oh, war? Oh, yeah. It's nice to get the time in the cage. You know what I mean? Uh, it was a tough fight. Uh, I, felt, I, felt, I felt like I controlled it pretty well. But uh, after two years out to come back and then to, to still perform uh, and get them three rounds in and get that cage time, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy. You know, uh, you know, some fighters will say with that kind of time off, ring rust will invariably set in. Were there, were there any elements of the? It, did you feel? First of all, did you feel that at all? Was there any ring rust? Oh no, I mean, like I, I was saying beforehand, I, I think ring rust is just in people's heads. You know, it's like uh, it, it's just the mental side of things, and um, so I wasn't worried about it. It was. Uh, it was tough and um, it was hard work. I think I forgot how hard it was, but <laughs> yeah, but it's all worth it. You, you say t it was tough work, but it, you, you know, 30 26 across the boards and a point yeah. deduction. Clearly, you know, you clearly dominated this fight. Yeah. <laughs> As the cage door closed, was there any doubt at all that you that that you, you were going to perform? When? No, no, I, I felt amazing in the lead up to this fight. I've had the best camp ever, and uh, even in the changing rooms, it was just like this is my time. It was just I just knew I was going to go and perform. I always say that. Uh, and when it's a fighter's time, they feel it deep down to the soul, and I, and I really think this is my time, and uh, and I'm looking forward to the next fight. You know, I, I, you know, you, you've joined SPG. We know Carl Tanswell is an incredibly vocal coach at yeah. the sideline. You know, what was he telling you in between rounds? Obviously, you know, you, you're going in, and from the perception, unless the judges are blind, you know, you, you're winning the rounds. What advice was he giving you? Anything that like stuck with you over the second and third? Um, yeah, he said. Uh, I think he said he's like a seagull. With one wing he's drifting to the right he's oh, he's drifting to my right he said start hitting him with that right hand yeah and uh and i was trying <laughs> but it, it was hard it was tough but it's, it's great to have him in the corner you know he's a top guy brilliant coach uh, how long are you going to take to enjoy the experience i know you're going to go meet your wife in a little bit and then yeah. how long are you going to take to sort of chill before it's back into the gym oh, back to the ground as soon as i'm healed you know i've got like I've got two bad feet and uh, and a couple of cuts on my head. Um, so once I get the stitches out, and, uh, I'll be back in the gym. Uh, you know, the UFC got a lot of events coming up over the over the next few months, uh, few months over the year. A lot of events in Europe. You, you want to do another one on this side of the pond, or would you like to? Yeah. Would you like to go back and compete in the states again? I'm, I'm easy. Oh no, no, like I'll fight anywhere. I'm not. Re I'm really not bothered. You know, I just want good fights. Hopefully, regular this year, and just keep putting on performances. Other than the win, and I ask this of every fighter, other than the win, um, what, what, what's the thing you're most proud of today? Like, what, what, what element of your game or what element of your mindset are you, are you most proud of? Um, I mean, it's got to be the st being out for two years and still sticking out with a good three round fight, you know, getting that cage time. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm proud. I'm proud that I've, that I've stuck with it. It's been a long road. And, um, and to be honest, I'm just proud of it. The fans who, who supported me, like on Facebook and Twitter and things, I've had so much support from like local people. It really is. It's overwhelming, and uh, and I'll be forever grateful. Is there anything you want to say to those people? Because you, uh, you know, you could feel the love for you when you went out there. Yeah. yeah. It was, it was, was kind of like people were, you know, they were pleased to see you finally getting the yeah, opportunity. Is there anything getting, you want I'm, to say to them? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, for, to everyone, everyone who's who's shared a status on Facebook, liked the status, anything, all across all the fans in the arena it, it was brilliant you know that's, that's what I do it for it's, uh, it was really nice thank you very much Davey I, I'm not going to keep you for a long no, interview really. today I know you've you, you've just had to fight and you got better people to see than yeah. us but I want to say thank you very much and I want to congratulate no you on uh, the two year layoff uh, to, to do what you did and to do it with the mindset and to do it with the, the smile on your face that you did it with yeah. who is one of the most impressive freaks an athlete can do and Thanks. it's just been a pleasure to watch you perform tonight. Thanks very much. Much appreciated. I, I, I loved it. Thank See you, Dave. You.